Hey guys, uh, welcome to 88 Gaming. This is Trevis2888, as usual. I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a preview of what is Warface. Now, Warface is a stupid name, or I thought it was a stupid name, uh, rather, I shouldn't say it is a stupid name. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one. Basically, what this is, is a team-based first-person shooter. Now, uh, it's pretty much entirely online. Um, it's pretty much entirely done with lobbies and matchmaking and stuff like that um, and it is still a beta this is very important you can see their beta code version title still under development blah 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 uh, so this is just the beginnings of it now when I first started playing this I thought oh, you know, another shooter another modern military shooter fine however it's very very good um, con considering that it's uh, free to play um, it, it's pretty cool uh, the team based stuff is really good as well so to go into it and we're gonna have a little go and show you what it's all about now obviously free-to-play games people hate free-to-play because it involves microtransactions and blah 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 and all that stuff uh, however I am going to show you as to why this isn't a pay-to-win game they've done something very clever with it which means that even if you pay you know a hundred pounds you still need to carcom has expired okay 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 daily reward yay yeah, that's fine. I know that anyway. Uh, right. So, I'll show you the pay to win thing. Basically, in the store, you've got the four classes. You've got rifleman, engineer, sniper, medic, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, in the store, what you can do is you can go, oh, buy credits. Now, this is a little bit of an exploit at the moment because in the beta, uh, the credits are zero. Now, the credits are um, what you can use to get premium items. So this is the whole pay to win element, this is the microtransactions thing. So I'll go like that, I'll get some credits. I think I've got some already, but it'll be fine. Okay, so we've got some of those coming. Now, with those credits you can get decent stuff. So, let me show you what this means for people. So, weapons and stuff, right? You've got uh, credit price and dollar price. Dollars you, you earn by playing the game. Now, people are like, well, that means someone can buy whatever gun they want. No, they can't. Because the better guns down here are greyed out and locked and that's because you need vendor points so vendor points are earned by doing the missions and by playing online so basically even if you had a million credits you still can't get the best weapons in the game unless you've played the game now the other thing as well is the fact that the best weapons are the crown weapons and the crown equipment these are not unlocked in any way with credits or with in-game money other than with crowns. Crowns are earned by specific feats in combat, so completing a level quickly or getting a really high kill score on a level, that sort of thing. Um, so you can see there, that's 14,000 crowns. I have 180, it's terrible. Um, right, let's have a look and see what gun I've got and what the better one is equipped. Z, that one, okay. Um, now I'll stick with that. And then you've got your pistols and stuff as well, so I think that's the best pistol. And grenades, grenades. Um, I think, you know, anything like that is fine. A black hawk, black hawk, tomahawk thing. Uh, extra vest. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Right, I want to get some. Okay, fine. <coughs> Let's get some decent gloves, shall we? Let's. There we go. Got some better gloves. We've got some protective shoes. Uniforms and character skins coming up as well. Okay. So, enough of this madness. Uh, the other thing that you can do, one of the things you can do as an exploit at the moment with the um, free credits is that you can go. You've got um, boosters and stuff. So, boosters are. Um, XP rewards and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but, random boxes. If we go in here, you've got the crown boxes, which, again, you need to have crowns for, but there are the rifleman random box, and the medic random box, the sniper random box. And if you go to one of these, you can buy the boxes. Now, while the beta is free, why not? May as well go for it. So, we're on the rifleman random box. I bought five of them with my free credits to see what we could get. There you go. Um, there's always at least one weapon in these boxes as well. 
but as you can see, even if someone does get these boxes, all it does is give them experience. And to be fair, the level of your character, as far as I can tell at the moment, it doesn't really do anything drastic for your performance. Um, it just affects kind of what people think of you when they see your level, I think, basically. But there we are, I got some smoke grenades and stuff, and got some experience. Uh, it may be that later on, or it might just be that I've missed something, and you can actually get more for um, uh, your level. Right, okay, so this is the thing that we've got going on. Um, you've got, sorry, I'll go back to this. You've got your training missions, which you can do. You've got Versus, which is obviously your team-based, or kill map, deathmatch, or whatever. Then you've got Co-op as well. Co-op is very, very cool. Um, you get the training missions. Uh, oh, there's a new one there. Now, the training missions you can do by yourself, and then these ones here you can basically do with other people. So we're going to do the regular safari. We're going to do a quick play, see if we can find some people to play with. Do do do. There we go. In game. Uh, let's join. Uh, let's see if. Let's see if we can find another one. Probably drop us straight back into that one again. Wait for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Screw it. I'll show you the vendor points here. Basically, you have three different options that you can go for. Weapons, outfits, or equipment. Now, your vendor points will earn... When you play, you will earn vendor points, and these will unlock things in sequence. So, um, at the moment, I'm working towards unlocking a load of weapons and stuff. Uh, like I say, this is the thing that um, stops you from kind of pay to win basically. So we'll go through this and then I will show you the last little bit which is the uh, clans and all that sort of stuff. There's very very straightforward clan system on here, been put together very well. Now the defining thing about this game is you can see the different symbols there, you've got rifleman, engineer, rifleman, medic, so you do need a mixed team um, to be able to win a match basically. We were doing one of the hardcore matches the other day, we had four riflemen which just got absolutely caned. Mixed team, we were fine. Now, because I've jumped into a gaming process, I can't start straight off. I have to pretty much wait until checkpoint. So I've never seen this level before. This is one of the daily levels. They change every day. There are three different levels. Uh, so I've not seen this before, I'm assuming. It just kind of looks like it's going down a river. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, something weird happened there. Oh, checkpoint coming up. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Checkpoint. Slow boat. And you can get kill streaks and stuff. You see the times two at the top there, you can get kill streaks and multipliers and stuff like that. Obviously, like I say, the higher your kill score, the more kill points you get, so the more crowns you get. And again, the timer as well. The quicker you do the level the better. So <coughs> here we are. Pow. I'm in, y'all. Now, it's got all the usual stuff, crouch, reload, blah, blah, blah. But also, if you press up on the D-pad, you can get your customization. Just in-game customization while you're playing. So you can literally, at any point, change your scope, uh, your rail, and your muzzle accessories, which is really cool. Okay, let's get some kills. I'll try to. Oh boy, this is not fun. Now that red means that there's a sniper looking at me from somewhere. Oh god, should have been a sniper. Jeez. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Um, not the greatest showcase of my abilities, but oh well, these things happen. Oh Jesus, we've got some speed on us now. Woo! Go. Uh, can't see nothing. Oh, I finally managed to hit someone. Yeah, I got a kill. One kill. Excellent. Two kills. Good. Ah, here we go. There's an example of one of the things that you can do as a rifleman. There's some ammunition for you, buddy. Dance in front of the oh, nice. Let's do a bit of a dance in the front there. Look at him go. Whee! And he's back. There we are. Now I should say that um, where I couldn't join until the checkpoint, you can get resurrection coins. So once you've died, you can come back um, with a resurrection coin. Again, these are things that cost credits. 
Um, uh, but you don't need to get them necessarily. And the other thing as well is you can do this. Say random stuff. Obviously if you don't have a chat headset or whatever. Oh, Jesus. Got him. Sweet. Restoration and revival complete. There's a sniper somewhere. Obviously you can have unlimited uh, ammunition as a rifleman effectively. Damn it. God, this is this is a horrible level. <coughs> All being stuck on a boat. Um most levels that you do on the co-op will end up being uh, there will end up being some kind of boss or a big fight at the end, effectively. So it's always worth preparing yourself for that as well. You see, headshots do a lot of uh... sweet. Let's get out of here. Okay, actually, I'm going to need to myself some ammo. Well, let's do it. Oh, Jesus. The riot dudes. And then you can help your teammates up and stuff like that. Ah, sweet. much. Oh, I seem to have switched to my SMG. So there we go. I think that might be the end of the level. Let's find out. Now you do get experience for providing support, so you can just do it while you're in the helicopter. It doesn't make any difference for the game because, because obviously between missions be re refilled or whatever. There you go, look at that, see? I joined late in the game and I came third. Basically it kind of goes first, second, third, fourth, fifth. If that makes sense. And I realise I'm on the webcam so that's going to be reversed anyway. But here we are, this is as to how the so three times crown event, jeez. First time mission success builders. Plus I've got my booster as well. See? It's all about planning. So for anyone that likes Call of Duty and Battlefield and stuff like that, but they're fed up with those, they want to play something fun, give this one a go. It's free. It's well put together. Um, again, like I say, all this footage is the beta footage, so bear that in mind when you're ju making your judgment. Um, I'm going to wait for this to load up. Uh, there you go, you can see the crowns thing. I didn't quite get enough kill score to get any crowns, and as a team we got 15 crowns each for that. So first off, you get your money. This doesn't really do anything other than just kind of go, hey, look how much money you've got. So that's cool. Um, and then you've got your experience. Yeah, all that experience. Very good. And then you get your vendor points as well, which is there. So obviously I'm quite high up with unlocking weapons. So it um, takes a little while. But there you can see as to even if I had, you know, 2,000 credits, there's, you know, I've got nearly 2,000 credits. There's nothing I can do. I can't get the car comp because I have to unlock it, which is amazing for me. I mean, I've never had a problem with pay to win stuff. Like, I, you know, if you want to do that, then do it. You know, it's not a big thing. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, you've also got contracts uh, where you've got different contracts that are easy, hard and insane. So you've got resurrect five teammates in team deathmatch. You've got perform 10 grenade kills in skilled co-op or achieve five butcher in versus. So you got those, those are your contracts. So what I'm going to do is leave the room, and we'll go back, go to profile. Um, you've also got challenges. Um, now some of these will translate over to achievements, 
which are these ones here. When this becomes an actual game rather than just the beta, um, these will be the achievements for it. It's quite cool. Um, but basically what this is, is that it can give you... Uh, what do we call them? Let's call them just kind of things for your name. So they are, see? You can put a cool... Yeah, high roller. So these ones are marks go on the left. Um, we're going to go for... Dee -dee -dee. Let's do that. Why not? Nah, let's just leave it. Oh no, I did it wrong. There we are. Uh, and then you get badges, which go there instead of the marks if you wanted to. So actually, that's a bit cooler. And then you get stripes as well, which are the backgrounds for it. Uh, these become the symbol for your clan if you make a clan. So, have a quick look at clans. Nice and easy. Again, really straightforward. Warface clans. Just goes bloop. There's these guys. And you can go, oh, okay, cool. Dilly dilly dee. Oh, good. It's nice. So, you've got the top 10. Um, and then you've got your clan as well in there. So, I'm 75th. Yeah. Seven members. Let's have a look. <coughs> nope, that's just me. So, you go to my clan and you can see as to what's going on. Uh, we've got officers and stuff. Random people. You can invite people just whenever you like. You can do a description and things like that. Um, so, yeah, that's it basically. That is Warface. Really straightforward. But uh, really, really enjoyable first-person shooting game. So hopefully the video has given you an incentive to try this out. Now, it is a beta. It's a closed beta. I know you can go to warface.com and you can request entry into the beta. So uh, if you are interested, then go onto the website and see as to what's going on there. They may only have a certain number of spaces. I, I, I honestly don't know. I got sent an invite um, through the channel. So, uh, yeah, basically... That's it, really. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in Warface, then uh, if you get on it, give me a shout. I wouldn't mind uh, having a few games. I'm going to be doing some recordings for it and stuff like that. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, comment if you've got anything to say about Warface or my video standards or commentary or anything like that. And then also, obviously, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more from 88 Gaming. So, thanks for watching, guys. And take it easy.